months and it's all leading up to what's coming up in January 20th. And so I've said this many times before, but please reserve throwing your stones at me until January 20th. First of all, I want to say without question, Trump is going to win the election. Uh, and uh, that doesn't mean you sit home and don't vote. That, that, that means you get out and do everything you can to work. But he's going to win. That's, I think, a given. Because I am speaking from the future. Yes, you are. this moment. Right this moment. And I am going to proclaim yes. that President Trump will be president <laughs> of the United States. <laughs> Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Will it be an eight-year presidency? Absolutely. Absolutely, we will. Uh, you're sure about that? Yeah, I'm sure about that. Hey everyone, um, Alan Parr here, and uh, this is going to be another one of those unscripted videos. So I just ask that you all would allow me to speak freely in this moment. Um, you know, my heart is very, very heavy right now for the body of Christ because I see certain things that are happening and it really, really troubles me and concerns me. Uh, I've got some notes over here on the screen. And if I look over here, that's what I'm doing because I really want to capture and communicate to you all everything that, um, that's been on my heart. Um, I purposely waited until January 20th to create this video because there have been a lot of Christian ministers, Christian YouTubers that have gone on record and have made prophecies that Donald Trump would be the next president of the United States, even after the election results have been certified and so on and so forth. Now, before you even go down the political road, I'm going to say one more time, I am not a liberal, okay? You can go and look at any of my videos and you will see that I am pro-life. I am as conservative as they come. I am anti-same-sex marriages. I've got plenty of videos on my channel where I talk about that and abortion and all of those things. And let me also say this, because I know some of you are going to turn this video into a political video. And if you just watch the video and listen, you will see that this video that I'm talking about has absolutely nothing to do with politics. As a matter of fact, it has everything to do with prophecies and how we shouldn't listen to people who claim that they are prophets when they've been proven that they're not. To prove it to you, if, let's just say somebody prophesied that Joe Biden would be the next president of the United States, and let's just say that November 3rd, 2020 came, and he did not win the election, and January 20th comes, and he was not inaugurated, I give you my word, I would be making the exact same video coming, coming against people that are saying, God told me that Joe Biden was going to be the next president of the United States, and then it didn't come to pass. This video is about false prophecy. It's not about politics. So please, I beg you, do not make it into something that it's not. So what I want to do in this video is I want to really share with you some video clips and some examples of people by name that I really want to encourage you to be aware of because they have clearly uh, communicated false prophecies to you. And I'm going to show those to you in just a moment. Now, before I do that, I really want to just lay a foundation from the Bible about how we should be um, listening to or uh, how we should be uh, receiving or evaluating prophecies. Now, this is going to be very quick because like I said, I want to get to these video clips. But basically, um, if we just look at what the scriptures say, 1 John 4, 1 says, dear friends, do not believe everyone who claims to speak by the spirit. So let's just stop right there. Just because somebody says, I have a dream or the Lord showed me, which I'm going to talk about later on in this video. All right. Um, you know, for people who say, okay, the spirit of the Lord was saying, showing me this, or I had a dream, or I was in prayer and the Lord was showing me this. The Bible clearly tells us, don't believe everybody who just says that they're claiming that they're speaking in the spirit. You must test them to see if the spirit they have comes from God. Why? For there are many false prophets in the world. So just know that that there's many people who are going around saying, God said this, God showed me that, God spoke to me. And John clearly says, this is going to come to pass, that there's going to be many 
false prophets. Now let's keep going. Deuteronomy 18, 20 through 22. This is one I've read many times before in my videos. Don't worry, I'm gonna get to some of the people that I really want you to, to look at and, and really be aware of, but um, I need to lay this foundation. Notice it says here, but any prophet who falsely claims to speak in my name or who speaks in the name of another God must die. Now, let's just stop there. There are so many Christians, I was gonna to get to this later on in this video, but there are so many Christians, when you talk to them, they are always saying, the Lord showed me this, God said that. You know, I was praying and God said this. Here's my word for you, if you're one of those Christians that says that constantly. I just wanna say this, ask yourself this question. Am I willing to die based on what I believe God has shown me? Just ask yourself that simple question. Am I willing to die? I'm talking about being separated from your family, your loved ones. You're like, you're not gonna see another birthday. Like you're willing to die over what you believe God has said. God says, that's how serious I take it when somebody says, God told me, God showed me, speaking on behalf of God. God said, if it doesn't come to pass, you must die, all right? Now let's keep going. But you may wonder, how will we know whether or not a prophecy is from the Lord? God says, okay, if the prophet speaks in the Lord's name, but his prediction does not happen or come true, you will know that the Lord did not give that message. That prophet has spoken without my authority and need not be feared. So right there, the word of God, I'm giving you the Bible. The Bible says that if somebody speaks a prophecy and it does not come to pass, clearly God did not give them that message. And then God says that prophet should not be feared or should not be reverenced or should not be respected, right? So what I'm getting ready to show you are clips of people that some of you are probably following and subscribing to that are communicating false prophecies and leading thousands, millions of people astray. And yet you have so many Christians that are still supporting them and still following them, still subscribed, still liking when it's been proven that these people are communicating false prophecies. Okay. So basically the idea is this prophecy is not one of those gifts that you get a do over, right? It's not like, um, the gift of, uh, I don't know, gift of evangelism. If you share your faith with somebody and they don't get saved, okay, well, you know what? I'm gonna try again tomorrow. Prophecy doesn't work like that because you're speaking on God's behalf. You're speaking in the name of God. So God says, you you don't get a chance to do that over. If you It's one and done. If you misspeak in my name, that's it. Now, let's keep going, all right? How will false prophets claim to hear from God? Here's, here's, here's what I want you to start listening for as you think about, okay, is this person a prophet or not? Jeremiah 23 makes it very plain. I have heard these prophets say, listen to the dream I had from God last night. Now, Jeremiah 23, if it doesn't get any more practical than that, I don't know what does, right? Listen to the dream that I had last night from God. And then they proceed to tell lies in my name. God says, how long will this go on? If they are prophets, they are prophets of deceit, inventing everything they say. By telling these false dreams, they are trying to get my people to forget me. Ooh, let's just stop right there. Do you see what is happening? Don't miss that. Don't miss that. God is saying, by people saying I had a dream from God, Essentially, what they're trying to do is to get you to listen to them rather than listen to God, because God has given them some special word or some special revelation that he hasn't given to anybody else. And see, what happens is this. So many people, everybody wants to be a prophet nowadays, because to be a prophet, that means you're so deep and you have some super spiritual relationship with God that God shows you things that he doesn't show everybody else. And he only does it because you've been spending hours in prayer and all this stuff. See, everybody wants to sound so deep and so spiritual, but what's really behind that is, hey, don't listen to God. I want you to listen to me instead because God speaks to me. All right, let's keep going. Let these false prophets tell their dreams, but let my true messengers faithfully proclaim my every word. Mm, 
Do you see that? He says, let those false prophecies tell their dreams, stuff that the Lord has shown them, right? But let my true messengers, what? Preach the word of God. That's who you need to be listening to is people who are preaching the word of God, not their own dreams. Sorry if I'm getting passionate about this, guys, but I am passionate about it because you'll see in just a moment when I show you these clips, all right? There is a difference between straw and grain. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of clips right here so that you can see that there's so many people. The first person I'm gonna show you is a guy by the name of Chris Yoon. Chris Yoon, now, I didn't really know who this guy was until a couple of weeks ago when I came across his, his prophecy, okay? And I'm gonna play a clip for you, and I just want you to listen to it with the sermon, okay? So let me go ahead and, and, and cue this up right here, and I'm gonna show it to you. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna show you about this particular video is how much support you've gotten from Christians. Okay, this video has 613,000 views. Okay, maybe some people agreed, some people didn't, no problem. 181,000 subscribers, okay? But here's the shocking number right here. 43,000 people liked this video. This is why I'm making this video because you have this many people that are saying, I agree, I like this. Now, let me play a couple clips here, all right? Here we go. Hey, so what's going on, guys? So today's my last day here in D.C., and if you've been following me this whole week as well as the last couple of months, you know what's been on my heart, and it's that the Lord has anointed and has appointed uh, Trump to be a president a second term. It's not 2024. It's right now in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so let's just stop right there. He says that the Lord has anointed and appointed Donald Trump to be the next president of the United States, not in 2024, but in 2020. So here's somebody that's saying, the Lord has shown me this. Now, it's an inauguration day today. It's a done deal. It's passed unless some miracle happens. If it happens, I will gladly take this particular video done. Once again, I don't care who's, look, it's not about Trump. So just stop that. It's not about Biden. It's not about Trump. It's about people making prophecies saying the Lord has said. Now, let's keep going. I'm going to skip over to about 50 seconds or so and listen to this, sir. Uh, the, the believers, or if you're not a believer, to be a believer so that we can be on the same train, that we can be uh, having our house in order. And I've given a lot of prophetic word and a lot of dreams and a lot of uh, different things. So I've given a lot of prophetic words, a lot of dreams and things like that. Do you see what I'm saying? Dreams. This is what you're getting when you have people that say the Lord said this, the Lord said that. Okay, now here's the reason why I waited until January 20th to put this video out. This is what he says. And it's all leading up to what's coming up in January 20th. And so I've said this many times before, but please reserve throwing your stones at me until January 20th because everyone is, again, speaking too quickly. They're taking news just like the, a few days after November 3rd when a media declared Biden the winner. You threw some stones. Again, the uh, election certification, you threw some stones. But I've been saying wait till January 20th before you say anything because right now, more than ever, the Lord has made it so clear to me what is about to come to pass and everything I've been saying has so, uh, so far come to pass and the grand Okay, so once again, this is the reason why I waited until now to create this video. This is what I'm talking about, you all. Look, as Christians, we have to stop this. We have to stop supporting this. We have to stop liking this, right? You look at the comment section of some of these videos and you have so many Christians. Yes, I'm praying for you. Yes, he speaks the truth. Yes, but there's no Bible. There's no scripture. This whole video, there's not one Bible verse. It's just what the Lord has shown me. And this is my concern. This is where I'm, I'm getting concerned about where the body of Christ is going. There's this movement away from the word of God, away from the Bible. And it's more about, okay, I'm interested in hearing what this next prophet has to say. Now, I'll just be honest with you. I see that because when I create videos on my channel that are more Bible-based, views are down. Whenever I create videos that are about like something spiritual or whatever, views are up, which lets me know that people are searching for some sort of experience rather than the truth of the word of God. We've got to get back to that. All right. Now, I could list several more of these videos. I could talk about Sid Roth and his false prophecy. Um, I could talk about Kenneth Copeland, right, and him basically 
teaching people to laugh. The Associated Press said that Joe Biden is president. Ha! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Whoa. Whoa, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going to be president. Mickey Mouse is going to be king. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And if you laugh, then you will, uh, you know, you can, I don't know somehow overturn or claim things by laughing uh, something. Uh, but let me show you another one that I'm really, really concerned about. And this is a guy that I have wanted to make a video about for quite some time. And let me just say this. I have nothing personal against any of these people. I don't know them personally. So I don't have anything, per I have no and vendetta or any particular reason for why I would want to make these videos against anyone. What I'm trying to do is to protect the body of Christ and to warn the flock to read the Bible and not just depend on another person. Now, um, let me just play another video once again that is very troubling to me along these same lines. And this is a guy by the name Marcus Rogers. And I bet that many of you are probably subscribed to him as well. And I want to encourage you to be very, very careful about listening to him. If I can just be honest with you, because most of his videos are about what God has shown him in his dream. Let me prove it to you real quick. Okay. Let me go to his channel and all you have to do is just look at the titles. Okay. Just look at the titles. Uh, something big is coming this week. These are the dangerous people I have warned about. Uh, let's see. Uh, here's, I think I found one that was, oh, here it is. Every believer must listen to this dream God gave me last night. I was paralyzed. I kept crying. Here are several more. God showed me something extremely disturbing in a dream. God told me to tell you about dream. God has been giving you strange dreams and visions, and this is why. The final vision, a dream God gave me two nights ago. God gave me a prophetic dream about a battlefield and a club line. Prophetic dream of man with two faces, one was demonic. I had a demon choke me in my sleep last night. God gave me a prophetic vision. He is sending something big, and the list goes on and on. See, don't read the Bible. Just listen to the dream that God gave me last night. It's the same thing Jeremiah 23 says. Now, this is the one that I want to play. And I'm going to speed it up to about six minutes or so. Uh, six minutes. Here we go. So a couple of different things stood out to me, and I thought it was for me. But when I read that verse, it gave me the confidence to get on here and tell you guys, I don't know what it is. And I might just sound crazy to some of you guys. But I just don't believe Biden will be president. I don't. And I'm not going to try to do a cop out and say, oh, maybe it's because Kamala Harris is going to be president. No, I believe right now, after all this prayer that I've been doing, that Trump will be president and something big is coming. And I don't know if it's going to happen how I think it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen exactly on the inauguration day. I don't I don't know. But I know this something big is coming. OK, so th that's enough right there. I think you've seen enough. All right. So um, this is my concern, brothers and sisters in Christ. And let me just also um, go to one more um, scripture here that I really want to really encourage you to consider. This is how and by the way, that video that I just showed you got like 19,000 likes, a um, couple hundred thousand views. He's got over 500,000 subscribers all of which are just his dreams, his visions. There's not a lot of Bible being taught, right? I just want to encourage you to just get in front of Bible-based sound theology and stop following all of this mess that is basically just designed to take you away from God and focus on what these people are saying. 
This is what the Lord says about false prophecies. Jeremiah 23 again. Therefore says the Lord, I am against these prophets who steal messages from each other. See, that's what it is. One person has one prophetic word and then the other person says, oh, that sounds good. Let me jump on the bed. Let me say, I have a prophetic word. I have a prophetic word. Everybody's got a prophetic word. And they claim they are from me. I am against these smooth tongue prophets who say, this prophecy is from the Lord. Where have, where, where have we seen this? We're seeing this in our, in our Christian culture right now. I am against these false prophets. Their imaginary dreams are flagrant lies that lead my people into sin. I did not send or appoint them, and they have no message at all for my people. I, the Lord, have spoken. Listen, if you want to know why I'm so passionate and about what I'm talking about, it's because the Lord is. Do you hear how the Lord God is speaking about how he does not want to be misrepresented? He doesn't want a nation of people going around saying, God said this, God said that, when in essence, God didn't say anything. That's why I'm passionate about it. This video is probably way too long, so I'm going to end with this. If you don't get anything else out of this video, just be careful about saying, God told me this, God showed me that, because God takes it very, very seriously. Now, if you have ever been guilty of saying God said this or God said that, or maybe you're someone who believes you're a prophet and you made a false prophecy, I want to encourage you to repent of it. And I came across a video of a guy that did make a false prophecy about this upcoming presidency. And you know what? I respected the fact that this guy went on and made a public confession that he was guilty of communicating a false prophecy. And I would, I would hope that anybody who comes across this video who was guilty of that would humble themselves and make an apology, okay? Let me just play one more clip very quickly here. Good morning, Chris Valentin here. Well, first of all, I wanted to really congratulate uh, President Biden and tell him that I'll be praying for him as I did for President Trump and President Obama and also President Bush all these years. I've been praying for presidents and um, I just wanna say that I pray for your success. I pray for the success of our country. And I believe that the lot is cast and the decision belongs to the Lord. So you're not just the president of the United States, you're my president. I've said that many times with President Trump and President Obama. But secondly, I really want to apologize, sincerely apologize for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. Uh, I prophesied um, that Donald Trump would be president four days after he, uh, four days after he uh, took the no nomination. Uh, the first time, uh, four days after he declared himself a candidate, I should say, the first time. And um, I, that was obviously right. And then later on, I prophesied that he would um, not be impeached, and in fact, that he would win another term. And I was completely wrong. I take full responsibility for being wrong. There's no excuse for it. I, I think it, um, it doesn't make me a false prophet, but it does actually create a credibility gap. And a lot of, a lot of people trust me, trust my ministry. And um, I wanna say that I'm very sorry for everyone who put their trust in me and that, um, and then there was this um, major, major mistake. And I, I wanna say, uh, I'm sorry. And I want to look into the reasons why there was a disconnection there in what I heard. And um, I have always believed that when you make a public declaration, that if you get it wrong, you have to make a public apology. Okay, so guys, like I said, I don't wanna make this video very long, but I just pray moving forward that we are all very, very careful about who we listen to who we subscribe to, who we support, what videos we like, and that we test every spirit and make sure that it's from God. God bless everybody. Um, I'll see y'all tomorrow whenever I talk about the tabernacle, right? Something Bible-based, and hopefully you'll join me on that video. Bye-bye.